Yeah. Right, Stephen, um, how's the finger? Uh, the finger is okay. That's about as far as I go at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, I'll show you I'm where I'm at at the moment. I've got a rather neat, uh, well, reasonably neat scar there and a, unfortunately a, a piece of uh, metal running through the middle of my finger as well as a couple of screws in there at the moment. So it's, uh, it's not in the best shape it's ever been in its life, but it's been fixed up and uh, it's on the mend. Yeah. And um, how long are you expected to be out for still? Well, um, basically the, the pin's in there for another couple of weeks, so unfortunately until that comes out I can't really get it moving. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm still you know, quite a few weeks away really, but uh, you know, there's plenty of time for me to, to get it right, hopefully maybe during the T20 period and things like that. And, uh, I'll be back out there as soon as I can, I, I, I assure you of that, but uh, unfortunately it was, uh, it was quite a bad one, so uh, it's, a, you know, it's a lot longer than I would have hoped for originally. And you were in good form with the bat, obviously, um, how do you continue that once you come back from a lengthy injury like this? Well, I think, you know, I think that's probably one of the biggest frustrations. You know, I was, I was delighted with the way we were doing as a team and I was enjoying the captaincy. Uh, you know, obviously things have been going well. And, uh, but also to get some runs alongside that personally, it, it was all going so well almost. This game has a funny way of uh, biting you occasionally. But um, no, I think coming back into the team when, when eventually I do, um, you know, I think it's, it's up to me to do as much practice as possible and get as much preparation time as possible. And I'll try and get uh, at least one or two uh, knocks in the middle with the second team as well, um, potentially during that sort of second half of the T20 period. As club captain, how proud are you of the club start so far this season? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of it. I think, uh, you know, we've made some, uh, we've, obviously the results have spoken for themselves and we're sitting top of the log in the championship at the moment. We've played some really good cricket and I'm delighted for Alex and the one day team as well. That, you know, we had a great week last week, winning three one days in a week, which we haven't done for, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time we did that. So, you know, it's been, uh, it's all positive. Um, I suppose the era of caution from me is that as much as we've shown some improvement and, and, and we're doing well at the moment, um, we haven't achieved anything yet. You know, there's still a long, long way to go in the season and uh, we have picked up a few injuries, which are, are long-term ones as well. So, uh, you know, my, my pessimist side says, you know, we've got to keep doing the good things and keep working hard, which, which we will try and do. So at the moment, you know, very proud and delighted with the way we're doing things. but. Uh, it's a, it's a long way to go yet. Yeah. You've mentioned the injury list, it's grown slightly, mm. but we also lose another key player um, after this game, Trent Copeland. Just how big a contribution has he made? Absolutely. Trent's been absolutely fantastic for us. Um, he's going to be a huge loss. Um, we've been delighted having him at the club. He's been, a, not only has he been a top performer on the field, but he's been a really super bloke to have in and around the dressing room and uh, you know he's obviously going home for uh, to have his ankle looked at and things but uh, I, w I hope him I wish him well with that but also uh, you know we'd love to get him back here obviously he's been great for us but uh, we'll see what happens there I'm sure we'll try our best to do that but it might not be in our control but uh, overall he's been a, a great guy to have around and uh, you know he's the wickets he's taken in in English conditions, we thought he'd be a real asset, and, and that's proven so. And uh, we, we've been delighted, and uh, we'll miss him. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and finally, just about your benefit, how's that going? I'm sure you've got a bit more time to, yeah. to plan and stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've got more time on my hands than I would like at the moment. So uh, I've actually had to pitch in and do some work with the benefit <laughs> year, which is disappointing. But now it's been going really well. I had a I had a really successful uh, dinner with Graham Swan uh, a few weeks ago now, which went great. And uh, I have a dinner coming up in July at London at the Oval. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I've got a bit more time on my hands to put some effort into that at the moment. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's going well and I'm enjoying it. And uh, looking forward to, uh, I think, my first cricket match next week at Brackley Cricket Club. And uh, we've got a good day planned there. So, yeah, it's all going well.